In Google Slide, we can add a shape overlay and we can hyperlink it to any slide we want to move on. Unfortunately, when students or participants click on the space bar, it still advances to the next slide. Let me show you what I mean. If I go into the presentation mode, now you can see in this slide, I enabled only the number four to be clicked open. So anything else has been disabled. As you can see, nothing is moving on. So when I click on four, it advances to the next slide. In this case, I only enable two. Anything else I click on, it's not working. The drawback to this is, watch what happens when I click the space bar. I am not using the mouse, but just the space bar. So rather than click selecting anything, if I move the space bar, it automatically advances to the next slide. So let's see how we can disable the space bar. Go to File, click Download, Microsoft PowerPoint. Open the PowerPoint. So the way to disable the spacebar when advancing the slide is the option we are going to use the kiosk. So go into Slideshow, set up Slideshow, and see this button that says Browse at a Kiosk Full Screen. That is the option we are going to use to disable the spacebar. Let's see how that works. Now go into the presentation mode. Let's see. I click the mouse, nothing happens, unfortunately. I click the space bar, nothing happens, which is what we needed. However, this is not what we want. We wanted them to move to the next slide because there is nothing in here. So I am basically locked in this place. So the first thing you want to do is go into insert, shape, a rectangle. Select the entire slide and right click hyperlink, point it to slide number two. Now shape fill, select no fill, shape outline, select no outline. Now remember, it's in the slideshow, set up slideshow, check to see it is pointing at browse at a kiosk full screen. Yes, it is. Let's browse and see how this works. Now remember, in the past, the first slide was not allowing us to move to the second one. Now let's see if it allows us. Okay, so that works. Now in this case, if they select four, it needs to go to door number four. Let's check to see that it doesn't point to anything else. Okay, so that works. Four is going. Now let's say in the past, when we click the space bar, it was advancing to the next slide. So I'm gonna click the space bar. I hope you can hear the click, nothing happens. So the only advancing is going to happen is when they click two. Let's try again. Space bar is not working. Clicking six takes them to the next slide. That's it. This is how you can control the space bar being enabled when advancing the slides. Hope this helps.